<clears throat> Hello, fourth graders. Today I will show you how to multiply a two digit number by a one digit number using a generic rectangle. Our first example will be 17 times 5. Our first step is to look at the numbers, and we notice that we have a two digit number here and a one digit number here. This means that when we make a generic rectangle, here's our generic rectangle, we're going to split it into two parts so that it has two boxes going this way, two columns, and one row. Our next step is to take our two digit number and we're going to decompose it into two parts. 17 equals 10 plus 7. We write one number, the 10 above the first box, and a 7 above the second box. Our next step is to take the 5, and we'll write the 5 next to the generic rectangle. Next, we will multiply 10 times 5 equals 50. We know that because 1 times 5 is 5, and there's 1, 0 in the 10. And then we multiply 7 times 5, and 7 times 5 equals 35. If we don't remember, we can look at our multiplication table. Our last step is to add 50 and 35. We can add using the traditional method. I will add over here 50 plus 35 equals 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 3 is 8, 85. So the answer to our problem is 85. I'll put a box around it to show that it is my answer. Okay, we will do one more problem. Example number two. 56 times 8. Our first step is to note that there are a two-digit number and a one-digit number. That means that our generic rectangle will have two boxes. Two going this way and one going this way. Two columns and one row. Next, we decompose 56. We decompose 56 into 50 plus 6. And then we write our 8 to the left of the generic rectangle. Our next step is to multiply. 50 times 8? Well, I know that 5 times 8 is 40. So I'll start by writing 40 in the box. And there's one more 0 in the 50. So I put another 0. It's 400. Next, I'm going to multiply 8 times 6. 8 times 6 is 48. Next, I add the two numbers. 400 plus 48 equals 0 plus 8 is 8. 0 plus 4 is 4. 4 plus 0 is 